Hey, 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 survivors. Welcome to VLFR Gaming. We're meeting today for a little video. I know I'm late, but I had to make the video for you. So, we're here for the new generation of tanks. So we can clearly see together all the advantages of General 2. And so you stop with General 1. I see that there are a lot of you who continue to upgrade their General 1. Stop, please. It's not worth it at all. I think we're going to have a lot of tank generations. And it's like heroes. The more you spend on General 1, the more it will become useless. In 6 months or in 8 months, General 1 will be useless. You're going to have General 4, General 5, General 6, and you tell me we have multiple marches. Oh, already try to max out one strong march instead of having two or wanting three. If you're not a big whale, stop trying to max everything because it's not possible. You're going to get lost and you end up with lots of weak things. So, it's better to focus on one thing and sometimes play a little stealthily. Like for example me on the VLFR account, I didn't do General 1, not at all. Now I'm doing General 2, and well my General 2 just with a few items is already stronger than my General 1. So let's go see a little bit of the difference between General 1 and General 2. So Generation 1 stops at level 6, so the max level for your skills is going to be level 6. Statistically, Infantry Lethality, Infantry Health, Attack and Defense, you're going to be at 10%. 10% and 60% in attack and defense. Then lethality health 40%. We immediately compare with general 2, which isn't max because you have general 2 up to level 10. Wait, 9, 10, 11, level 11. Excuse me, my bad. You have it up to level 11. And here we're already at level 8. At level 8, I'm at 12% infantry base lethality and infantry base health. In attack defense, we're already at 90% and we're not maxed out. Infantry lethality and health, we're already at 60%. There's a huge difference between Generation 1 and Generation 2, and you can imagine that Generation 3 is going to be even stronger. So please stop with Generation 1. Okay, you have multiple marches. You want to be strong with all your marches. But honestly, when you're free to play or a mid-spender, already try to have one really strong march. And with your strong march, you can kill two weak marches. For me in Azatane, for example, or in Survival Royal, my first march is enough. Twin, third aren't important. Already max out a first march. It's better to have one strong first march than to have two half-weak marches. You're going to get slapped. Your two marches will be wiped out in one go, and it's going to be over. So try to max out as best as possible a first march, and then you do the second. So, there you go. I hope this little video pleased you. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe if you don't want me to come burn you. I wish you an excellent evening, a good day, and I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao, survivors.